Good morning everyone. So, today let me first of all introduce myself to you. I am Vikram sir and I am going to be your chemistry teacher. And you know, I know very well that chemistry is a subject that all of you find it. Oh wow, chemistry, reactions, 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 you go mad. And I am over here to relax down you from your chemistry fever. Today, the chapter that we are going to start is a very, very, very simple chapter. Just take a look at it. E for elephant, L for lion, E, again, a small elephant, baby elephant, C for cat, T, can you tell me any, 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 any animal name from T? Come on, tell me. Tiger. Tiger, okay, that's great. T for tiger. R for rat. O for ostrich. L, any other animal apart from lion? Come on, come on, let me, let me come with the question. Leopard. Leopard, that's great, that's great. Y. Y. Yak, that is a very good answer. Then we come for S. Come on. The question, S, any bird, small bird, a very lovely bird and take up, sparrow. I and S. So, you see, I am teaching you chemistry, but I'm, I was asking you the questions pertaining to the names of the animals. Why, you know? The reason is that whenever we start with a chapter, I want you to understand that what is the meaning of the topic electrolysis. Just merely E means elephant, L for lion, T for tiger, R for rat. That's not the meaning of the chapter. The meaning of chapter is something else. Normally what you all do is you all start up with the chapter. Okay, electrolysis. This is, this is, this is, the so and so and so and so and so paragraph, so and so questions, over, over. But you don't know what is electrolysis at the end of the chapter. So the basic criteria over here is to understand what do you mean by electrolysis. Now here, the word electro meaning flow of electrons. And the word Lysis stands for pertaining to. Together I can say that the meaning of the word electrolysis is pertaining to flow of electrons. So what we are going to learn in this chapter is all about electrons. What are electrons? The negatively charged particles that are roaming around right around the nucleus of an atom that is nothing but electrons and because of the flow of electrons how does the electric current flows that is what we are going to learn in this chapter electrolysis we'll go step by step and don't worry i'll make it very very simple for you just take a look at this presentation electrolysis it is a process by which electric current can be passed through solutions. That is what I told you. Flow of electrons. Through any solution, whether it is aqueous solution or a molten solution, how the electricity flows from one point to another by means of electric current. That electric current is produced because of the flow of electrons. And in this chapter, what we are going to study is point number one, process of electrolysis. Point number two, conductor versus electrolyze. Three, electrolysis of water. Definition of standard solutions. Faraday's law of electrolysis and application of electrolysis. Before coming to what is the meaning and what we are going to do in this chapter, try to understand what is the meaning of this chapter and why are you learning this chapter. 
You're not learning because I am forcing you to learn. You're not learning because your parents are forcing you. No, no, Baba. You go to the tuitions, you go to the classes, learn this, learn this, learn this. No. You're learning because tomorrow in future, this is going to be of great help to you. And where is electrolysis going to be of great help to you? I can give you a reason. Can you see these rings? See the rings. What are these rings made up of? As per your knowledge, tell me. Diamond. Diamond. What's, what's the metal? Gold. gold. It looks like gold, yes. right? Now, my watch over here? Metal. Some metal, right? But metals you normally know what is the kind of coloration. But there is a quite good finished touch on this metal. A very finished touch. Here, if I say that this ring is not made up of gold, it is some iron or copper metal. But then too, it shines like gold. What is that? That shows that the jeweler has done a kind of gold coating over this particular metal. The watchman has done a very fine coating of silver over this watch. And how are these coatings done? By means of electrolysis. So tomorrow if you want to become a jeweler, you'll have to come to me. Sir, What? how do I do the coating? Would, would you like that? After 10 years from now? No, you won't like. Where will you find me and where will I find you? So better you learn now. What is electrolysis? What are its applications? How do we put it to use? Where all we are going to use it? Each and every chapter, remember, whether it's chemistry, physics, biology, maths, are having its own use as per the acquired field in the career. So learn what is electrolysis. Now let us come to the process of electrolysis. If you can see, when an electric current is passed through a chemical compound, some compounds are able to conduct electricity, while some compounds do not conduct electricity. If you read out solid sodium chloride, molten sodium chloride and aqueous sodium chloride. Now, you can see this electrical circuit diagram. First one is a solid sodium chloride, then is a molten sodium chloride, then is a aqueous sodium chloride. What can you see over here? Yeah, that's right. Apparatus difference is there. Fine. That's a practical thinking, technical thinking. But tell me in terms of chemistry or electricity, any difference between these three diagrams you can note out? Can you see this? See the red dot that I'm showing you? A bulb over here. See the bulb over here. And see the bulb over here. This bulb is not glowing. This bulb is glowing. This bulb is glowing. That clearly indicates that it, when we pass electric current through sodium chloride, that is solid sodium chloride, the bulb does not glow. When we pass current through molten sodium chloride, the bulb glows. Even through aqueous sodium chloride, the bulb glows. That clearly shows that electric current is passing through aqueous sodium chloride. It is passing through molten sodium chloride, but it does not pass through sodium, solid sodium chloride. But my point and the question that comes to your mind, what is this apparatus? How does it work? How this is really working? Because I've directly shown you the circuit. So let us now first understand the basic of electrolysis. Let us now understand what is electroplating. I told you, why are you doing this chapter? Because, watch, didn't I show you? The rings, plating, what do you mean by plating? Coating of a respective metal on a, another metal. Or, in other words, I can say, coating of superior metal on inferior metal. For example, I take copper metal and I coat it with silver so that it looks attractive shiny in appearance and good to purchase immediately right so that's what we are going to learn in electrolysis can you see over here the diagram we have a beaker an empty glass beaker over here we have a battery 
9 volt battery, a negative terminal, this is a positive terminal, we have a switch over here for the connection. But currently the connection or the circuit is not complete. We will go step by step and we will see how we can plate iron spoon, iron nail, lead soldier, copper, Aladdin ka chirag, okay, and copper coin. How can all these articles be plated using silver electrode or any of these electrodes? Remember, electroplating just means coating of superior metal on inferior metal. That is what we are going to learn. So, let us now start. First of all, I will take silver nitrate solution and add it to the beaker. This is 1 molar silver nitrate solution, 200 cubic centimeter is the volume that I have taken. Now, you can see in the beaker you have silver nitrate solution, right? What are we going to plate? We will start up with the silver electrode. Say for example, I want to plate an article with the silver electrode. I will drag the silver electrode into the solution at this position. And now, in the third step, I am going to connect this particular silver electrode with the positive terminal. So that completes one of my connection of silver electrode with the positive terminal. When the electrode is getting connected with the positive terminal, that means it becomes positive electrode and positive electrode is called as anode. Remember I told you PA, personal assistance anode, okay? Come on, let us proceed to the next step. The next step is I want to plate, say this iron spoon. So I'll drag this iron spoon and place it in the solution. And now I will connect it to the negative terminal, the iron spoon. This has been connected, right? And now the iron spoon is connected to negative terminal so it acts as it acts as cathode negative cathode positive anode the circuit is it complete is it complete no what is pending switch on right so let us now switch on the button to complete the circuit and observe the change what is happening in the spoon you will see that this iron spoon is slowly slowly becoming silvery in color just see the change what are the advantages of coating done on spoon does it make the spoon look shiny or the spoon is less reactive or the spoon tastes better spoon is less reactive anyone else the spoon is shiny. Anyone else? Spoon is shiny. Spoon is less reactive. And I say spoon tastes better. Which one is your right option? A, B or C? Come on, tell me. So that I can lock it. A, that's it. Shall I lock it? Yeah. Sure. That's the answer. The spoon is shiny. So why did we do electroplating? So that the spoon can become shiny. It becomes attractive. So when you're eating noodles, pastas, pizzas and all, it becomes wow, yummy, yummy. That doesn't mean that the spoon is tasting that. But because the spoon is attractive, you like the food much better way. This is what electroplating does. Makes the look of an inferior metal with the coating of superior metal an attractive look. That is what is electroplating. And that is why you are learning the chapter electrolysis.